guys, welcome back. I'm Enzo, and today, well, I say today, but in here it is late night. But today we're going to talk about Infinity Countdown, Darkhawk number one. First of all, a little warning for everybody that is not too familiar, I mean, everybody watching that is not too familiar with the tie ins or how tie ins work in the comics industry. We have a big, a big event going on, in this case, it's Infinity Countdown, which is kind of like a pre-event for the real event, which I think will be called Infinity Wars. Um, uh, so these companies, when there is event going, they launch a lot of titles uh, that are tie-ins to this main story. And you'd expect, I mean, um, it would be the natural thing to do, that all of these tie-ins um, add something to the main story or at least clarify something to the main story. But there are two possible scenarios where this uh, doesn't really work uh, that well. Uh, the first one is when the main story is weak and in its development, and it's the work of data ins to uh, do these things that are left out of the main story. Something like this happened in the, in the recent Secret Empire event where the Tains tell, t told us more about what was happening than the main issues. The other thing that can happen is that uh, of all the tie-ins, some of them actually don't have much to do with the main story. And that is what I think is happening, at least during this first issue with Infinity Countdown Darkhawk. This issue doesn't have pretty much anything to do with the main story. Uh, there are a couple of very weak connections, at least for now. Maybe it will get better in the next issues. Uh, as we see the Raptors, the ones that have been fighting against the Guardians of the Galaxy for the Power Stone, and, and we see them um, working on their plan. Uh, this plan is to bring back the original Raptors, and this plan was, uh, as far as I remember, was never really explained or worked on during the Guardians of the Galaxy run, the previous, the previous run, or during the uh, Infinity Countdown main issue that have come out. So it's a, it came out a little as a surprise to me that, that that was what they were trying to do, and it completely backfired since the original Raptors are really, really dangerous. And that's what brings us to our protagonist, at least the protagonist of the tie-in, which is the superhero Darkhawk back on Earth. He wants to help the situation. He wants to help about the Raptor situation. Uh, he gets to know very quickly and, and, and only on the surface about the big war going on. I don't think he already, uh, he still knows the... He doesn't know the details yet about uh, why this is happening. He doesn't really know that this is about Infinity Stones. Uh, but he really does want to help. But as it happens when, uh, with the heroes that are not the main ones, uh, the main ones uh, sideline them. So we have here Nova Rich Rider telling him, No, you will stay on Earth. I don't want you here. This is too dangerous. Focus on Earth. Focus on your people. Save whatever anybody uh, you can over there. Don't interfere. But then we have the appearance of a character I wasn't expecting to see here. And I love this guy. I want to spoil it for you. I'm just going to say that I love how he talks in such a formal way. Uh, uh, and that together with his ridiculous looks makes him extremely lovable, at least to me. Uh, so we have the appearance of this surprise character. And he might become the means. And maybe that's the only reason he's there. He might become the means for Darkhawk to join the fight in a space. So maybe in the next issue, this will connect a little more with the main story. But in the meantime, it was really fun. But before finishing, I have to say something. The art, oh my God, the art is extremely beautiful. I love this artist. It has some, I'm going to uh, describe it as an anime-ish look that is, is, it is really endearing to me. And the coloring is also very bright, very, uh, I, I'm gonna have to repeat that word, very endearing. So just for the art, I really love the thing. I'm gonna have to give it uh, three Dark Hogs out of five because it was entertaining enough, not really outstanding, but with this beautiful art, I have to give it the full three amount. So, well, let me um, 
let me know what you think about this issue if you have read it uh, or if you plan to read it or not in the comments down below like this video you think this art is extremely beautiful uh, and well i'll see you next time guys thanks for watching